Alright everyone, welcome to part 2 on the Mariva, the black one. So today I'm going to give it a re-hoover and then I'm going to give it a good old wet back, give it a scrub on all the stains and stuff like that with some detergents and see if we can get this interior looking nice so I can get that drying out while I'm doing some other work like sanding down the wheels and stuff like that. So I'm going to give this a good old scrub. I'll keep popping you in now and again just to show you where I am and how far I've got. And we'll carry on with the day like that until we can't see any more and we can't carry on working because obviously it gets dark around half four now which is a bit of a pain but there we go all right so let's get started on this one so first of all i'll squirt some of this on and give it a scrub So I'll do this three or four times and I'll get the wet back going for it till it comes up clean basically. Okay, so I'll spend about half an hour doing this probably, and then probably do it again, and that'll be the back end done. So I've been over the boot a few times now. Might have to do it again later on, but it's looking much better than it did so far. And then are going to move around to doing the back seat area and the floors. So I'll pull these seats forward, like so, and we'll get in there and give them a scrub as well. I think you get the idea, the MP you want to sit there watch me scrub carp um, carpets and seats. So, get these done, I'll bring it back and show you the result. So, I've been right around the car now. As you can see, well, it's looking a bit muddy on the camera to be honest. I might uh, go over that again. You can see all the stains are out of the seats. Looking 100 times better. No stains, no marks. Um, 
Took me about two hours to go through the whole car twice. But it seems to be worthwhile so far. Next job is to get it dry and start working on something else. Well, I've moved on to the wheels now. Got all the mud off, give them a scotch white, and they're going to sand down the bits that need doing, like these bits here. Stone chips and little corroded bits. We'll get them masked up and get them in primer. So I'm going to use a bit of 320 grit sandpaper. And I'll bring you back when I've done it and show you where we are. Okay, so I've spent about an hour and a half now giving this one a good old sand up. Gone 240, 320, 500. I'm now boiling the kettle and getting some primer warmed up. You have to do that to, um, because the temperatures outside are not very hot at the moment, they won't dry if not. So, all I do to warm these cans up, just get an old tub on the back, boil the kettle, fill it up like so, sort of halfway. And just keep the can moving. Try and get the paint inside the can warm. Well, you will. You don't need to try that. Will get hot. The actual can will get hot as well, though. Just sort of move it around in the hot water for about a minute, and then give it a good shake for a minute, two minutes, and you're ready to go. Okay, time to get some primer on them. Cover up all the bits where you're going through. Don't all need to be done in one coat, just get some on there. See it's starting to cover. And that's only the first case. Just walk around the wheel, make sure you're missing the bits. Okay, so looking pretty good. Not bad for the first coat. So we'll give that half an hour, 45 minutes to dry. And we'll come back and have a look. So I got a few coats of primer on there now. It's looking really nice. Everything's all nice and smooth. Just need a quick scotch bright and that's ready for some silver tomorrow. Of then down another one and I've just spent the last hour and a half sanding this one down this one was a lot worse than the one I've done before earlier as you can probably see so I'm now about to mask this one up and I'll start priming this one trouble is I'm starting to lose the light now so I'm probably going to be able to get this one done today I'll have to do the other two tomorrow but we'll see how far we can get Got the heater sitting there in the Mariva, drying out the seats and stuff. Let's see what it's like now, shall we? We'll just use one of them little white heaters, dry them out. Oh, look at that, the seats are looking lovely now, it's starting to dry. No stains, nothing like that. Exactly what we wanted. Door cards are looking good. Might just give them a re just get through them little bits of them. 
Yeah, lovely. Right, back soon. So, first coat of silver's gone on. Looking fairly good. Two or three more coats should be done. Still got a bit of work to do on the other wheels. Hopefully it'll be done today. Also, just rubbing bits down on the car. Where well, we've got scratches and stuff like this. Just rubbing them right down. Got a few more little bits to get off here. And I'll touch them in properly with a very fine brush. And sand them back out. And they'll smooth right into the paintwork. That's the plan anyway. Got plenty of that all the way around the car. And that's all good fun. <laughs> right, so I'll carry on. Well, this is the difference on the bodywork. And bits have been touched in. If you can remember this side from earlier on. They've all been touched in and sanded back, so they blend in with the body. Here's some bits that are still in. Finished being sanded and buffed yet. As you can see, it's getting really good. We'll carry on getting this mirror shine. Okay, so it's about three hours later now. Going all the way along this side. As you can see, I'm fighting with the rain at the moment, it keeps raining. So there's a few dots and stuff on it. I think you can see the difference there, can't you? Lovely shine. And we haven't even done the polishing and waxing yet. Right, so I'll carry on the car and I'll bring you back when it's all finished. Okay, so time to get these rough old wheels off and get the nice ones on it, we're done. So I've started to put this one on. I'll get the rest on and bring you back. Well, it's this side on. As you can see, it's looking much better. Tires are a bit big at the moment, but we're going to get them sorted and once we've got all the wheels on. We're going to get four new tyres button. Looking good so far. Okay, so all the wheels are on. Just got to run to clear the windows and stuff. And the next job is to take it to my tyre place, get four tyres put on, which is what I'm now about to do. So I'll bring you along, we'll get that done, and then she's ready to go in for her new MOT. Okay, so that feels a bit different on these bigger tyres. And when I get them changed, obviously I'm probably going to go a bit smaller on the profile, so they ain't got such big walls on them. It feels quite nice, it's nice and smooth. Feels like you're riding on a cushion of air. <laughs> but yeah. Alright, so I'll get up to Norwich and just as I come into the place where I go, I'll bring you back just so you can see where I go to get stuff done. And we'll get some new tyres fitted hopefully. And we'll go from there next. A few more little touch ups, polish and wax. And we're ready to go and get a MOT. And then that'll be a case of doing the walk around like I normally do. Um, get all the black bits and stuff like that done under the bonnet and all that sort of stuff. And then we'll do the photo shoot. Right, so I'll carry on my journey. I'll bring you back in half an hour or so. I'll get up there, show you around a little bit. Okay, so we're up on the industrial estate. Let's have a look see if they're open. They should be. Yeah, they look like it. They look like they're pretty busy there. Which is not a good start for me. We'll have a go, see what we can do. Okay, so let's go and have a chat. See what we can get. Okay, so the tyres are fitted. All nice new, brand new tyres. Should be much better to drive now. Alright, get it back and let's carry on with it. 
So that's all new tyres fed. Didn't go with GB's got a nice set of Michelin spot on there. Give us a nice good grip. Also they're fuel efficient as well. So that's all good. Obviously that's gonna go on the price of the car when I sell it, but I like to do them right. And if I was gonna drive it myself, that's the sort of tires I put on it. So I'll get this back now and we'll see what we can do next to it. Okay, I'm gonna to have to end this video here. It's getting dark now, I'm not about to show you much else. So I'd like to say thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, all the normal stuff. And I'll see you soon in the final part where we'll get this one MOT'd.